nice having your own parking lot. Oof. Good morning. Well, top of the morning to you guys. Uh, what do we got today? We've got two pickups, two drop-offs. Uh, we've got the Q7 drops off in Mannheim at a dealer, and then the Explorer and the Mercedes drop off in Reading, PA at a dealer together. So, um, does anybody else have problems with their GoPro? I have a Hero 8 Black or whatever, and I constantly have to pull the battery in and out to get it to even turn on. Anybody else have that problem? I've updated it, I've done everything. I've had this problem since I got the camera, so. Um, it's just easy to use a GoPro instead of my big camera when I'm driving down the road because I have a magnet here on the dash that you guys are attached to. Uh, so it just makes things easy. Um, and like today is a good day. I could have my big camera set up outside, but when it's raining and whatnot, I leave that in the truck. Anyways, let me know if you guys have had that issue. I don't know if I should just contact GoPro or what. So we are on the Pennsylvania Turnpike now. We have, I don't know. Oh, 34 minutes till first drop. Um, Watch out, construction on road ahead. Now nah, I lost my train of thought. Anyways, let's go get these unloaded. And uh, what we'll have to do at this first location is uh, take the Q7 off the back and then drop both the vehicles on the trailer down some uh, to lower the center of gravity. Not a big deal, not too hard. Uh, it just takes a little bit of extra time and it's uh, a crips, crisp. 29 degrees right now so we'll see you guys here when we get these cars unloaded and this thing is nice 2019 Audi Q7 18,000 miles still has snow on it this thing's got a little touch pad for the screen here but dang look at that setup I love that trailer already. I know I'm gonna be annoying, but I love it. I paid for it, I get to be annoying. So someone asked about how this deck was and how, if it's slippery. Get this real like grooved aluminum. Now here's some snow. That's just pure ice, of course that's slippery. But with it being wet yesterday and a little bit of snow, I didn't have any issues. Now, I probably shouldn't be filming. I'm climbing up the side of a trailer, but I got to get these back down. Ooh -wee. Look at this color. This thing was a bear to load. Little 8 Series BMW. Nice car. Pain in the butt to load, though. So I stop at this Loves all the time. It's here, like, right where I live. It usually has the cheapest fuel because it's still in Maryland, not in Pennsylvania. But they probably only have about, well, I don't know, maybe 40 truck spots here or something. This place gets to be an absolute cluster at this time. And I'm always coming through, like, five or six just trying to get fuel. And it's an absolute cluster. So let's see if we can find a pump here that doesn't have three trucks deep. There's a pump open, but that truck's blocking the, uh... Jesus. What a mess. There's a pump open over there, but there's nobody in the truck and just blocking the pump. Hello, good morning. Almost afternoon. Oh. Alright, so we're in New Jersey now. Just dropped off the Mercedes. Uh, weird story on that. It was left at a hotel, abandoned. Watch out, road kill on road and, ahead. And um, the actual owner of the car had put it on central dispatch to have it picked up and delivered back to him, which is fine. Everything went good, he paid, we're good. Yeah, he paid very well, actually. It was like a dollar fifty a mile for just that one car. Um, so now we got the BMW, I think it's like an 850M. Excuse me, I don't know what the actual 
model is, but I am extremely exhausted today. So before I get into that, everything's okay. Um, we had a five hour emergency room trip last night with the baby. Uh, she had spiked a fever and in the first two months is very crucial that if they had, she had the, the baby has a fever you got to get to the hospital and uh, get her checked out have her checked out because it could be you know an infection or something that they're just their body can't fight off so check her temperature twice last night at about 10 45 she was running a fever so we hopped in the car we ran down to the emergency room um, they ran a blood test, a urine test, and did a chest x-ray. Um, also did a swab for like a bunch of things, but COVID included. So everything came back negative. She just left the doctors now. They wanted to see her again this morning and everything's okay. So we were there from about 10.45 to 3.30ish. Um, and I had gone to bed at 9.45, so I had an hour of sleep there got back at 3 30 and took about a two hour nap and uh hopped in the truck and uh here we are so i don't know how much filming i'll do today but i'm thankful everything's okay so um i don't know how much filming i'll do today of course it's raining now and i'm exhausted but got a drop off it's in lakewood new jersey at a i think it's like a used car center which is where this bmw is going and then uh, right down the road, I pick up a brand new Honda Ridgeline. I know it's a small truck. I think it's a Honda Ridgeline. Uh, brand new one for a uh, local business in my town. And we got a shoot across Turnpike area, Pennsylvania Turnpike area, and get a lawnmower, zero turn lawnmower. So that's today. Let's get to it. You guys ever get yourself into a situation where you're like nervous to pull up to the place to pick up a car or equipment or whatever just because you have a feeling it's gonna be a cluster? Well, that's how I feel right now. But I just called the cut, so I'm picking this up for my best customer, my tractor buyer. You guys have seen it on my vlogs before. Every time I'm hauling a tractor, um, it's probably for him. So. He's got me picking up a zero turn lawnmower and uh, it doesn't run or doesn't run well, which is, it is what it is. Cause the guy says he has a rollback. Uh, and if he has a rollback, we could put it up on there and I could just probably release the brakes and roll it onto my trailer. Cause I have the wedge and I guess we'll see what happens. So we're a mile away from his house and uh i don't like that it's right off this main road because i want to make sure that there's because it's raining i want to make sure i can get turned around or if i should back in off the road so i don't get stuck trying to get out of his yard all right let's play good news bad news good news mower loaded up didn't run we pushed it up on with he has like a um, small farm tractor garden tractor with a bucket and a backhoe pushed it right up on put a strap on it to hold it uh, he backed off of it I strapped it down I'll show you that in a little bit bad news we're filthy dirty we had to change a thankfully I saw it in his or heard it in his driveway I had a nail a tire so I had to put my spare on these tires probably have I actually I can tell you how many knobs they have on them they have about 1700 miles on them so um, it's in a place it can be fixed which is it's fine but not really what I wanted to do in the rain and thankfully I was at his house because I went to grab my impact and realized that the battery is at the house on the grease gun idiot we haul it all baby we haul it all Go home. See you guys tomorrow.